guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to what i'm hoping will be vlogmas day 16 assuming i get this edited and uploaded i know i have missed two days of vlogmas please forgive me i do have a lot going on like behind the scenes a lot going on in my personal life i feel like a broken record um so honestly only missing two days so far has been a win in my books i'm thinking hopefully i'll post every single day there might be one more missed day i'm like maybe i see like one more missed day on the horizon fingers crossed not but that is where we are at. I am currently, I have on my lips one of the liquid lipsticks in my chopping block and it might be like running all over my face. Um, and also my makeup has been on literally all day, but did not have time to touch it up. There's like a blizzard going on outside. It's crazy. I'm hoping to just get this filmed, edited so that I can upload this tomorrow. But I'm very excited for today's video because it is going to be an update on or in all of the pans in my collection. So I started tracking this last year around this time. And then I did a mid-year update and I have an end of year update and we'll just continue to update you guys on all the pants in my collection, probably by semi-annually, bi-annually, twice a year. When I did my six month update, I had 10 products that I added pan to my collection on within um, the beginning part of 2022. I have two more products to add to my pans in my collection, and I will have a total of 30 products with pan in my collection as of today right now. That is not including my single eyeshadows or my eyeshadow palettes, just other like makeup products. There is nothing that had pan on it in the prior update that I have sent finish but there are still still two products that I feel like maybe I can finish in the last like 15 days of the year so maybe I'll have two empties I did finish my Tarte Sea Breezy bronzer earlier this year that was like the one empty that like started the year with pan but as of right now no empties but two hopefuls so that being said I feel like this has been a very long-winded introduction but if you're interested in seeing the 30 makeup products with pan currently in my makeup collection stay tuned first if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project panning content or just chit chatting about makeup I'd love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on other than that let's jump into the the video I feel like I've just about got like my cough under control which is amazing hopefully I won't be hacking up a lung in this video I was thinking it might be good to start with the two products that I have added pan in my collection on like the two newest products with pan in my collection so up first I have the elf acne fighting putty primer which actually did have pan earlier this year but i couldn't find this product when i went to do my mid-year update and i was like i know i hit pan in that uh putty primer earlier this year but i couldn't find the putty primer and i had pulled all of my like i pulled out my makeup empties bin the other day and this was in it so i don't know if you'll be able to see there is a pan in this product obviously i did kind of like specifically like use the product in approximately the same space every time i use it rather than like trying to like evenly wear away the product but i am excited that there's a pan in this the pan i don't think has grown at all because i just grabbed it out of my empties bin but hopefully i can make some progress on this next year or potentially even finish that off and then the other product that is new has a new pan in my collection is my pixie glowy gossamer duo i want to say it was maybe august or september that i finally hit pan on this side of this highlighter which i'm super super excited about very happy to add another highlight pan to my collection those aren't always the easiest to come by and i will say like the pan in this i felt like was going to be more shallow than it was it was one of those products that i kept thinking i was going to hit pan on kept thinking I was gonna hit pan on and it took me like a good month after I thought I was gonna hit pan before I actually hit pan. Okay, and then maybe I'll work backwards. So we'll do products that have had pan since my mid-year update, but I will only have one other picture to compare it to rather than two, if that makes sense, um, because this would have been something that I shared in like my June, not update but june video about all the products with pan in my collection so let's talk about this face palette super exciting to have a fan a fan well fans are exciting too um exciting to have a pan in a face palette because i feel like my face palette collection often gets neglected i do feel like my face palette collection was like a win this year like i feel like I did a really nice job of cycling through some of my face palettes and even though i don't feel like i used makeup 
as much as I normally do this year. I do feel like I was good about cycling through my face palette collection. So I'm going to take that as a win from 2023, uh, 2022. Um, so this is the NARS Overlust palette and I have a pan right in, not that product, this product right here. It's super reflective. So hopefully you'll be able to see, but I also feel like I could, well, actually the pan was deeper than I thought, but hopefully next year, maybe I could at least have pan in all of the highlighters. They are more of like a putty like texture. So again, I kind of did center my usage in the same place rather than all over, but I love this face palette and I'm very happy that it definitely shows that I used it and loved it. Another pan that I hit this year, um, the Vesca highlighter in the shade Moonlight. I hit pan on this pretty early in 2022 and have not really reached for it since. So when I look at my comparison pictures, I don't think that the pan on this will really have expanded much at all. I ended up using this mostly as an inner corner highlight to hit pan, but this is a highlight that I actually do really enjoy. It is more subtle. <clears throat> And I do find it to be a pretty good mixing highlight. So if I have like a pink highlight that's a little too deep for me, I'd mix it with this. And I just loved the way that this mixed with other highlighters. So I'm really excited to pull this one back out in 2023 and get some more use on that. Unfortunately, Vesca as a brand is no longer. Um, so I want to love every moment of using that highlighter. Next, another product that I was excited. And this was like an unexpected pan this year. Although this did go, this was in my whole collection project pan. So I'm happy that I did hit pan on this it's my huda beauty tan tour i have mine in the shade fair and this is what my pan is now looking like i will be interested to look at comparison photos of this because this is something that i hit pan on and then i put it away for a bit but i did pull this back out and i feel like i got a decent amount of use on this so i'll be interested to see if the pan has expanded any more on this again i'm excited to reach back into this in 2023 see if i can expand that pan any further i see my cough has not completely gone away see if i can expand the pan uh, a little bit further on this i don't by any means think i'll finish this product up next year but i am motivated to continue using that and expanding that pan then i have this fenty highlighter i have two fenty kilowatt highlights you'll see in this video um this is the uh girl next door and chic freak highlight and you'll notice i have a pan hopefully you'll notice or be able to see there's a very small pan on this more subtle side there is almost a pan down here but not quite this is something that i was kind of using as an inner corner highlight and have like i swear there's been a pan in the past there but there for sure is a pan right here i'll be very curious to see what sort of progress i make on this next year this highlight is one that i do really enjoy using almost like a blush topper in the summer i used it quite a bit as a blush topper or a highlight this summer and that's how i ended up hitting pan Typically, I end up preferring the more subtle side in the kilowatt highlights, uh, as you'll see later in this video as well. But I'll be curious to see this, or and, and excited to watch that pan grow next year. Ooh, then another one I'm excited to see how much the pan has expanded on is my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I do have the mini, and obviously I only have a pan on the bronzer side. I'm like kind of looking at my little picture here, and I can tell that the pan on this has expanded. I feel like it should be a goal of mine next year to get a pan on the highlight side of this. It is more of a subtle highlight, which has been my preference. So I feel like I should make the effort to have pan in both. I would love if I could actually finish up the bronzer part of this product, although I would still keep it for the highlight, but it would be a an accomplishment if next year I could finish up the bronzer side of this. I have two Kosas duos that I hit pan on this year. I love the Kosas duos. So up first, I have one of the powder duos. This is in the shade Papaya. I can get this open I always struggle to open this and I have pan on the actual on the I actually have pan and I actually have pan on the highlighter shade the highlighter shade of this side I ended up using this as like a coral peachy blush rather than an actual highlight and I absolutely love this product for that again I love the Kosas the Kosas duos a lot um, but really excited to have a powder bronze or a powder pan because sometimes powder pans can be a little bit more hard to hit. And then in my cream product from Kosas, I have the Tropic Equinox Duo and I have pans. I don't know that you'll be able to, uh, hopefully you can tell. I have pans on both sides and I believe I had pans on both sides when I originally like shared this product. I feel like maybe I've expanded the pan some, maybe not. This is a product I feel like I should really try and get use on right away, even though I do prefer this more in the spring and summertime. I just feel like this product is gonna go bad if I don't get use out of it. And that would be a shame because I really enjoy, just enjoy that highlight specifically so much, but was really excited to hit pan on the blush part of that product as well, just because 
it's exciting to hit a blush pan. Next is a product I'm hoping to finish by the end of the year. It is the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. This is all I have left. So I've made significant progress on this this year. It was going in my partner's in cream project pan almost the whole year and I was not able to quite finish it off. It's gonna be really close. Like it's gonna be coming down to the wire. Maybe I'll finish it in 2022. For sure we'll finish it by end of January, 2023. I'm truly not sure, but definitely made a lot of progress on this one this year. Will be a little annoyed with myself if it's not a total empty. And then actually the other product that I'm hoping will be an empty this year um, and have made so much progress on this this year is my Kosas Cloud Set Powder. My lid has broken off. This is what I have left. And it may not look like a lot, but I feel like sometimes that like outer rim of a powder ends up just going so much slower than you anticipate it, it will. So again, I'm hopeful that this is gonna be an empty in the next 15 days, but only time will tell. I was so excited to hit pan on this blush topper from Smashbox. It's from a Smashbox palette that I depotted and I've been trying to pan this product specifically for years. So I was very excited to finally hit pan on this year, this year. And I will be interested to see the progress, like if I've made any progress or expanded the pan, cause I feel like I have. But then I'm also like, how many times have I actually reached for the sense hitting pan? I'm honestly not sure, but I feel like there's a lot, like I feel like with just a few uses, I could still use, like I could expand the pan pretty significantly because I feel like the product is just so thin around that pan based on the way that my brush typically like picks product up from this product. So I'm excited to keep working on this too. And hopefully it like this might be my first blush because I consider this a blush. I feel like it's more of a blush topper, but I feel like it was supposed to be like the highlight part of the actual blush trio that I have. What I'm trying to say is I think this might end up being my first powder blush empty ever except for maybe I, I panned like a Clinique powder blush in college, but fingers crossed on that one. Then I have this NARS bronzer and I uh, included this in products that have pan because it does have a pan technically up here. Granted, that wasn't necessarily <coughs> a pan that I hit on my own. <clears throat> I feel like this definitely did drop and crack a little bit and I feel like maybe it's cracked even a little bit more. Typically I center my like brush in the center here, I have used this bronzer so much and like looking at this product and like where it's chipped away I don't even feel like I have like a good dip in this So like this is like the longest lasting lasting blush or not blush bronzer Of life in my opinion and I will be interested to continue to see if this cracks away anymore Or if I actually hit a pan in the center here who knows But I did want to include an update on that then I have another bronzer here, Marc Jacobs, fantastic. And actually, so starting now, the rest of the products that I will be sharing had a pan at either the beginning of 2022 or the very end of 2021. I can't exactly remember when I posted my video, but we are gonna start with the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. And I have a pan in there, but it's not the biggest. And I don't think that the pan has expanded at all. Like, I don't know if I've reached this much at all since my last time that I updated this. But I do feel like the product is so thin around here. Like I should just pull this out and use it a few times and I feel like I could greatly expand that pan. I'll be very curious to see where we are at with this guy in like the next like June update because I do feel like this is a bronzer I reach for a lot in the springtime. So I don't think there's much progress to share this time around but I think there will be significant progress the next time I update on my pans. Okay, a product that is a waffle pan and you can't really tell that it has pan but it does is my Bobbi Brown Pink Glow Highlight. And I was really thinking I would make so much more progress on this highlighter this year, but because I was doing my makeup less this year, some things just didn't get prioritized because I was prioritizing things in Project Pans. I feel like my hair is doing, yeah, oh no, that is gonna bother me so much when I'm editing. Because I was so focused this year on my Project Pan items, I just didn't reach for things that weren't in projects all that frequently. So this one got neglected, but this is a product that I included in 23 products I want to pan and finish off in 2023. So that is still the goal with that. Another, so this quad I was hoping to have completely done by the end of this year, and it just didn't happen. This is the RMS Beauty Quad in the Living Lumin the Living Luminizer Glow Quad and I actually want to pull up and see like I'm actually pulling this picture up. 
Okay, I do feel like maybe I wore away a little bit more of this. This pan, maybe not. I'll be interested to see, like, when I actually post these pictures side by side, does it look like I got a lot more progress done? This is another product that I included in 23 products. I want to finish in 2023, and I want to finish every part of this quad. So that's going to take a little bit of effort, but I was hoping to do that this year, and I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't. Then this hourglass ambient lighting powder i feel like i've been unofficially trying to pan this for multiple years i have had a pretty significant pan for the last year or so and this is another one i'll be interested to see what the progress photo shows like i feel like i have expanded the pan but then i feel like i could also look at photos and it won't have expanded at all also because this is a baked product and it was so domed it'll be interesting to see if i feel like there's a difference in like the the dome of the product and maybe i'll have to take a couple of pictures of this one so that i can compare going forward um but i don't know i don't know if i'll ever finish this powder right now this is going in my deca panning project pan so i have been reaching for this and really loving it as a finishing powder but won't purchase again just because i know myself and i don't use a finishing powder unless i'm forcing myself to and i like a finishing powder but I also have to force myself to use a finishing powder. All right, I have two ColourPop Super Shock highlights. The Flexitarian one, I feel like I reached for this maybe one or two times. I'll be curious to see if that pan has expanded. And kind of same thing goes with the shade Lunch Money. I just was not prioritizing either of these, so I don't know that there'll be any sort of expansion in the pan. Maybe a little bit, because I feel like I reached for them as shoulder highlights a few times this past summer, but I also could see that being like, it doesn't look like any progress has been made. My Natasha Denona Glow Highlighter in the shade, the Oliver Glow Face and Body Shimmer. This is in the shade one. I feel like this has been the same size pan for multiple years now. And this is something I really do want to like actually focus on. Like I feel like I need to put this in a project because when I put it into my shop, my stash rotation, I still neglect it because I know I've used this so much over the course of its lifetime but it was a favorite highlight for so long and I just haven't been reaching for it. So I really want to do that again and re-familiarize myself with it and <clears throat> see if I love it the same way that I once did. This hair is driving me nuts. Um, but I don't think that there'll be much progress on that. A product I do think will have progress is my Ilia bronzer. This is something I was working on in my graveyard project pan and I don't think the entirety of this first ring was uncovered last time that I updated this. So I'll be really excited to hopefully fingers crossed see that progress. And this is a bronzer. I don't think I included this in my 23. I wanna finish in 2023, but I would love to make at least more progress within this bronzer. Did I include this? I can't remember. I'll have to, I'll have to reference back, but I'm hoping maybe this could even be an empty in 2023. We'll see. More bronzers. I have the Fenty Beauty Into Sun Sunstalker Bronzer. Um, I've had this pan here for quite some time. I ended up having to use this as a shadow in my crease in order to hit pan. I have probably used this bronzer as a bronzer and not even just when I was using it as an eyeshadow well over a hundred times in its lifetime. I'm seeing some bad hard pan right now. I'll have to take off with tape but well over a hundred times and still like, I don't even feel like, I feel like I can like start to barely make out where the ring will be in this product, but it doesn't even feel like I have that great of a dip in this. So this is like the longest lasting bronzer of all time, I swear. And I don't know if I'll ever finish that off. Back to Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlights. This highlight has had pan for quite some time, a huge pan over here. I've been wanting to finish this side for over a year now and need to really just do it. Maybe I need to um, repress it, I don't know. I'm trying to see if I can tell in this picture. I think I did have, yeah, I think I had this pan as well, last update, but I will be curious. I feel like I reached for this a few times since the last update, so I'll be curious to see if there's any progress there. Would love to like actually finish this whole thing off but i don't know that i could get myself to finish off this whole side because i'm just thinking about the time it took me to finish off the subtle side but i do love that maybe i could use it as like a body highlight we'll see we'll see what happens with that product next year my uh smashbox cali contour kit i have used this face palette quite a bit this year i had a pan i've had a pan 
for over a year on this shade now. I ended up hitting pan by using this as a lid setting shade, but also would use it as an under eye powder. And I don't necessarily know that the pan on this has expanded any further. I will be curious to see if it looks like any of the other shades have any more wear on them than my previous update because I have been reaching for this contour shade and even the bronzer and the blush as well. I also feel like the highlights just look worn. So we'll see if there's progress there. This is a favorite face palette in my collection, but those powders are also super firmly pressed. So I feel like it doesn't show the love that it gets. A product that I do believe has had some progress, and this is a product I'm hoping to completely finish off in 2023. This is my e.l.f. Forever Sunkissed bronzer, and I am close to uncovering the first ring here, but I definitely have expanded the pan a little bit since the last time I updated this, and I'm very excited about that. I will say I do still feel like there's quite a bit of product like around like the outer rim like I feel like there hasn't been like anywhere at all and it did end up taking me longer than I expected to hit pan on this this is another one of those products where I felt like I'm super close to pan I'm gonna hit pan today I'm gonna hit pan today and then it's like time would go on and no pan would come until finally it did this next product is another one I was hoping to finish this year and just didn't but this is in my 23 products I want to finish in 2023 I'll link that video if you guys missed it and want to see it I do believe I'm like is that a shadow or has there been more? I feel like there's been some progress with this. I've used it. I just feel like I'm getting to like that outer rim where it's like really thin, but also still gonna take a long time. I love, this is like my favorite highlight shade of all time. I have another one in my, one of my face palettes and I'm so happy about it. And then you can still get this under this Matchbox line in the shade Rose Quartz. If I didn't say it's like my favorite highlight shade ever. Hoping to finish this little mini in 2023. That would be my first full powder highlight. Still a deluxe size, but actually finishing off a powder highlight in its entirety. Then I have my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder, another product that I am trying to finish in 2023 completely. So this, like the something is happening with the powder where it's like raised a little bit and it's been cracking a bit i've used it a few times and i feel like the next time i use it it's gonna crack even more and become just this really messy disaster but i feel like due to the cracking there's i'm like looking at the pictures there's likely been some progress and i've also made progress i did really try and make an effort to like wear away down here to hopefully hit pan like expand the pan down to here whatever happens this powder i need to finish in 2023 i am bound to determined for this to be an empty in 2023 but that's where we're at with that product my rms concealer i couldn't find this product during my mid-year update for this but i did have when i started sharing this video i did have a picture of this and i think i've expanded this some as well um, I need to finish this. This is a product I want to finish in 2023. I've been working on it in my deco panning project pan and I do believe there's been some progress, but not enough. Uh, it's just not a product I love and I sometimes I'll use it over my eyes as like a lid setting concealer or primer, but I prefer to use an eyeshadow primer. So that's where I'm struggling with this and I don't love it underneath the eyes. But I've committed so much to that that I would love to actually empty that out rather than declutter it. Because it's not like I hate it. It's just not like fun to use. And I know makeup should be fun. So I'm like, meh. Um, my Mary Luminizer has had a pan for quite some time. I'm trying to like look and see if I feel like this has expanded at all. I have used this. Um, I did end up hitting pan by using this as an inner corner highlight on my eyes Which is why there's such a small pan here and then it looks like it's cracking kind of oddly And I think it's because i've been going over the center with my larger highlighting brush But i've definitely used this product and i'm excited to continue to use this product and hopefully just have an expanded pan Maybe I don't know if this pan has rings at the bottom. Maybe I could uncover a full ring of the Mary Luminizer. So many people have actually panned this whole thing to completion, which props to them, but I don't know how that's possible. I do feel like I have expanded the pan some. And this is a product that I don't anticipate finishing next year, but I do really hope to see progress in my pan expansion throughout the course of the year. And then the final product to update you on is another face palette. It's a Lancome, Lancome highlighting palette. And at the beginning of the year, I had a pan on just Frosted Rose. Last update, I added a pan to sparkling Petch, Pesh as well and still nothing in gilded gold gold is like not my favorite for highlight shades so i don't know if i'll ever hit pan in gilded gold 
I feel like maybe there's a little bit of pan expansion in both of these. I really love this uh, Frosted Rosé highlight shade. I love pink highlights clearly and this is just so beautiful for the winter so hoping to pull this in january expand the pan more on this maybe someday finish this one off in its entirety these pans are rather shallow and i don't want to call the formula crumbly but it's a thinner formula so i feel like there's a chance that maybe i could eventually finish this highlighter powder but i'll be curious to see if i feel like this pan has expanded when i look at the photos side by side um, but yeah, that is the last product to update you on. Those are the now 30 products throughout my makeup collection that have a pan. I am hoping still to potentially finish two of them off before the end of the year. I also have six more that are part of my 23 products I want to completely empty out in 2023. So it's not like I'll be like mad if next update I have less than 30 products. Um, certainly I hope I add more pans to my collection in products that don't currently have pan. But I'm also hoping to finish up some of the products that do have pan on them. So that's my update. I would love to know what products you hit pan on in 2022. How many products in your makeup collection do you currently have pan on? Let a girl know in the comments below. Other than that, thank you so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel, for supporting me. I appreciate it. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.